Forward Singapore exercise will allow us to consider and discuss what we want for Singapore's future, what the priorities on our national agenda should be, what the trade-offs are, and what we are willing to do to achieve them. How do we sustain and strengthen our national resilience ahead of future crises? So I pledged in Forward Singapore that my entire company, we're not going to be using uh, bottled water. We don't use bottled water anyway. Um, you know, it's also about us being energy efficient. We are solar powered in our office. We're also, you know, like uh, our office is built out of recycled materials. Communities are also playing an important role in environmental stewardship by bringing attention to local environmental issues and mobilising people and resources to address them. We have a vibrant civil society contributing to the protection of our environment. Each and every Singaporean be personal stewards ourselves, right? Don't rely on the government, don't rely on just the private sector to play their uh, respective roles, but each of us as an individual, right? Uh, step up to the plate, uh, take up personal responsibility and contribute to the sustainability movement. I pledge to reduce food wastage. It's because a lot of pupils in our school are not recycling right because most of them just dump their food inside the food return point and that is not good because there will be lesser food scraps inside the sifter. While individual acts may not be able to shift the needle in a big way, but collectively when it adds up, I think that it can make a lot of difference. So I think it's really quite exciting to see a lot of the different ideas at play. And I think the, the plan that's been put forward uh, will not be static. It's hard enough to be a, a net, net carbon neutral company, but it'll be amazing if you can be a net carbon neutral country as a whole. And that requires all hands to come together and a lot of action, uh, bringing together all our expertise and acting on them. We are already seeing signs of climate change around the world. So this is not something that we should wait. Human behaviour is such that we can't impose changes drastically overnight. Therefore, when it comes to changing behaviours or when it comes to things like carbon tax, we do it in a graduated way, calibrated, graduated, so that people have time to adjust, businesses have time to adjust. So that is the approach that we want to take. Together, let us strive to be good stewards of our home and leave behind a greener and more livable and more climate-resilient Singapore for many, many generations to come.